Uh, my name is uh, Casey Ratt, uh, Chief of the Algonquins of Barrier Lake. Uh, our community has been in the third party management system for uh, 11 years now, since 2006. And since 2006, uh, the control has always been by the t uh, third party managers in every aspect of our community, from uh, essential services to programs and services to even simple projects. They have to have a say whether it's a go or not. Now, for us, uh, you know, we've been struggling with this third party management system for so long now that, you know, uh, we have we have not been uh, able to put nothing in place uh, for a very long time. That that would be good for our community because every every available dollars, flexible amount of dollars goes to the TPM to pay their fees. Now, this is uh, outrageous and it's uh, it has to stop. We know how to we know how to control our uh, our finances. We know how to get out of TPM, but it's the way they want us. Uh, it's a way to control our uh, our First Nation, and and this is totally for us uh, uh, unacceptable. In the past uh, in the past years, uh, we had uh, third party managers uh, request uh, an amount of a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, on behalf of ABL to cover their deficits. And, you know, th uh, for me to find out only uh, two, three months after that they have, used, they have used ABL to request funding to cover their deficits, what does this tell you? It tells me that third-party management system does not work in anywhere. It doesn't work in ABL. It won't work across the country. So we need something uh, in place for ABL, you know, to get out of third-party management system. Yes, we are in a mediation process at the moment, but we are told, uh, you know, we it, it is uh, going to be a uh, long uh, process. But our but our uh, community wants out immediately because it has been too long, far too long. And I will uh, give it over to Tony to uh, to go into. Uh, uh, elaborate on these uh, issues. Uh, good afternoon. Um, my name is uh, Tony Wawadi. I'm uh, the interim uh, director general for for the Algonquins of Barrier Lake. Um, <clears throat> just to uh, maybe highlight some of the things that uh, that the third party manager was supposed to do was to have. Uh, to provide us some, uh, you know, um, advisory uh, advisory services. You know, uh, one of the things that we we saw ourselves uh, uh, in, you know, there was a big gap uh, to get out of uh, third party management. Uh, there was no exit strategy. Uh, we we focused on trying to uh, to build our capacity. Um, I know when uh, the election system was imposed on us. Uh, we had to jump in to that bandwagon, uh, you know, so that the community uh, was represented, uh, you know, um, the way the community should be run. Um, we we tried to have a strategic planning session uh, with third party manager at that time when uh, Chief Rat got elected in 2012, just to so, just to try to get a handle of. Uh, uh, what kind of programs we're administering and and to ensure that uh, the activities are, are going to happen. So what, what happens there is that, you know, uh, third party managers will uh, take the 10% the right away and they're going to pay themselves. And that has an impact on the delivery of our of our services and our activity that we that we try to, to bring out. So this lack of uh, uh, advisory services put us uh, in a situation that was uh, um, unbearable. Um, it prevented the community from planning and knowing the budget of each uh, of each program. The managers, uh, you know, were not able to carry out their activities. So. Uh, TPM will earmark their fees in the beginning of the year, and whatever is left over is what we are able to work with, which they refer as uh, flexible flexible funding. 
an example uh, that we that we're going to use is that you know we had this exercise with uh, Health Canada, you know, to go through the you know uh, planning of our activities and and to find out that uh, you know later on a few months down the road that there was no monies, but meanwhile we had done that exercise to to plan for uh, activities for for our members. Um, <clears throat> so, so as you can see, 11 years, um, we don't know what has happened uh, within that time frame of 11 years. Um, sometimes we, we, uh, we don't even know what the, what the surplus is. We don't know what the deficit is. So there was no exit strategy on how, uh, how to get out of third party management. Uh, every year, uh, end of the fiscal year, everything was uh, came out even, so so there was some uh, shuffling there so that the books uh, actually uh, um, came out even. But in the real reality, is that you know it is ABL that 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 uh, loses out on you know the the monies that we could do activities for. So. So it didn't allow us to to help our our members that are in in need of uh, of, uh, of uh, essential services. So when third party takes uh, ten percent of band funds, uh, they are divided. Uh, um, oh, one second. Because of ten percent of the band's funds are diverted into third party management fees, monies run dry for basic programs for the community annually. Uh, under uh, third party management for 11 years, we show surpluses and it doesn't uh, go to paying our deficit. We have never seen uh, the accounts for how many, how many is being moved around. So, so again, you know, there, there was no exit strategy. Um, it was until uh, we took the initiative, you know, to, uh, to, uh, bring our managers, uh, you know, to have that exercise, uh, to have a management action plan in place. And this is uh, the things that we are um, trying to get out there to get uh, to deal with, uh, you know, the situation to get out of uh, third party management. Uh, and I know that uh, the Algonquins of Barrier Lake had a, an invitation uh, by the Standing Committee on Indigenous and Northern Affairs uh, they're doing a study on third party management, which will likely uh, be sent to INAC and AFN fiscal relations cons consultation process. And that will take another year. You know, after 10 years of our community services uh, are in a mess, the people want third party management ended now as the new fiscal year is uh, starting uh, in a week. Uh, mind you, we are in uh, federal uh, court mediation, so it, it does limit us on what we want to uh, uh, what we want to share. Um, so I know that we are living in poverty. Uh, we are living in uh, overcrowded uh, um, situation, and I think that you know there is uh, a memorandum of mutual intent that was signed by. Um, by Canada to help rebuild our community, which took into uh, account the, the housing situation, the expansion of uh, the reserve, and hook up to the uh, to the hydro grid. But before that can happen, you know, we were supposed to have uh, some kind of a, a spin-off of some sort, so that uh, we were able to. Um, you know, provide uh, um, some kind of a training uh, for the development of the community. So there had to be a plan in place for us to be able to pay for hydro. When you're 90% uh, uh, unemployed, the unemployment rate is that much, you know, it's going to be pretty hard to, to uh, you know, charge our members for, uh, for hydro. So you could see that, uh, you know, that would have a strong negative impact on uh, you know on our members so we we really need to visit 
the agreements that has been dishonored and uh, so that it's uh, dusted off the, the shelf. So we need to bring that back so that the future and the future to come, the children are, are coming and there's great expectations for for uh, you know a better new uh, community, a safe and secure community. So, Chimigwech for uh, for listening to me.